the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. But very quickly, how mindsets are formed. Now you want to pay attention. Please pay attention. It's important that we understand and examine and probe carefully how our belief systems are formed. Why? Because we come from different cultures. I come from the Middle Belt, for instance. There are many of us who come from the West, the East, the South, some outside of this country, many following around the world. And historically speaking, we've gone through a lot of evolution, culturally speaking. And so many people have imbibed all kinds of mindsets and all kinds of thinking. This is the reason why the kingdom itself has its culture. Are we together now? I did tell us, I think it was the, our first service here, that you know you are transformed when it's difficult to trace you to an earthly territory. I shouldn't look at you and just say you are a northerner. No, the, the extent of your transformation, you should be so godlike, it should be difficult to associate you with a physical territory. That is proof that you are truly transformed. So walk with me. Is God helping us? Number one. The first way mindsets are formed is culture. 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 Never downplay the effect of culture on your mind and on your thinking. Now, there are many healthy aspects of culture. Many, many healthy aspects of culture. However, however, there are destructive aspects of culture many of us here i believe that we have cultural ties that if we have our way we will run away from almost every this is africa and there is almost no tribe that does not have something about their culture that is anti-christ anti-god anti-kingdom are we together now remember we're believers culture is wonderful there are healthy aspects of culture that inculcate morals like respect for elders etc but there are many demonic and destructive dimensions of culture and you see when you come into the faith life you have a choice either to subscribe to the ways of the kingdom or to incorporate dangerous and destructive aspects of culture that impede the operation of the Holy Ghost in our lives are you blessed culture It is amazing the variety of evil that many cultures, many cultures promote all kinds of things. And sincerely, the promoters of these things don't have to be evil people. They are people who are being faithful stewards of something that was committed to them also. Hallelujah. Number two, the second way mindsets are formed past experiences good or bad your past experience can have a very negative effect on your life ask nathaniel when jesus sent for him and nathaniel heard about jesus that nazarene who was doing great things here's what nathaniel said can anything good come out of nazareth he was not speaking out of ignorance there was a track record that nazarenes did not amount to much but this one was different hallelujah just like you are different i'm walking in power walking in miracles i live a life of favor because i know who i am so he said can anything good come out of nazareth 
and then when he came and met jesus jesus surprised him he says while you were under the tree i saw you and said wow who is this he said just because i told you this you're now amazed you will see greater things than this you will see the heavens open and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man our past can be dangerous some of us come from families where nothing was ever gotten with ease so the moment we teach that there is a possibility for ease in the kingdom that reality has not been captured in your mind you can receive every other prophetic word but that because your experience fights that prophetic word are we together africa for instance this is our beloved continent this is our beloved nation but did you know that there is a spirit in this nation and in africa that fights early achievement the moment you do anything early people say something is wrong it's true when you read about the patriarchs our fathers of faith in modern history some of them began to shake the world as teenagers joash in the bible was king at age eight josiah was king at age nine it was as a teenager that david brought goliath down there is a spirit that celebrates lateness there is a spirit that celebrates a a snail-like advancement in our territory and we have received it as a heritage at 33 years jesus had turned the world upside down Is God speaking to us now? Our past experiences. Some of us, respectfully speaking, came from maybe polygamous families. Some of us came from backgrounds where we were not so financially advantaged. Some of us came from backgrounds with all sorts of variations. And you will be surprised the degree to which your past has become a stronghold in your mind. They came out of Egypt in one day, but it took 40 years for Egypt to come out of them. They kept carrying Egypt as they moved. And every time God wanted to do great things, Egypt was saying, no, go back. Just because you are physically out of your territory does not mean you are free. Are we blessed? The past. The past. So when you hear things like favor upon your life, you just laugh and say, look, um, I'm interested in progress, not favor. Let it just be that I'm moving, no matter how slow. And God is saying, no, the unit of destiny is time. I can do something to time to give you an advantage. hallelujah number three how mindsets are formed family backgrounds i won't talk much about that don't be offended but this is true that sometimes because of the kinds of families that we came from nuclear families and and our extended families whether it's polygamous you know traditional whatever kind of family you will be amazed for 10 years for 20 years for 30 years you've been hearing people say talk in certain ways you will be amazed at the degree to which you have been influenced and now it has become a stronghold being a pastor does not set you free automatically no being educated does not bring you that level of spiritual liberty you can be very educated you can rise to the zenith of your profession academically speaking and yet you are still in the bondage of family backgrounds there are people in church for instance who fight everybody because they came from a background where fighting and warfare was the order of the day everything is for me my seat is for me i used to have for instance maybe a stepbrother a stepsister and so we take that same mindset in the office we're suspecting everyone we're angry at everyone we're praying in tongues we're genuinely born again but we are not free are we blessed family backgrounds let me hurry up number four the fourth shaper of our mindsets are our levels of exposure this is very powerful exposure is a miracle and exposure is a blessing even though it can be destructive what is exposure the ability to expand and broaden your horizon to know the possibilities that are out there beyond your scope of reference is called exposure many times we interpret life from the lens of mediocrity the lens of our limitations listen carefully 
and when God wants to help you he will expose you to new dimensions there are many of us for instance who have not been exposed to certain possibilities that is in Christ for instance we have not been exposed to the reality of the healing power of Jesus the restoring power that is in Jesus the love of God like the Bible says the fellowship of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 18 don't turn there the Bible talks to us about a man called Apollos are we together the Bible says he was a great man fervent in spirit he was eloquent but he knew only the baptism of John if you read only Apollos book for the rest of your life you would never know that the Holy Spirit is a person who you can relate to you can relate with I am always I am ever conscious of the fact that there is more than I can than I'm now seeing it is it is important small businesses small ministries small families small destinies small goals I'm not talking of some carnal ambitious things that don't have a divine bearing no not at all exposure is a miracle when God wants to step you to the place of destiny he does not travel with your body he travels with your mind your body only goes where your mind has gone when your mind returns back it is your mind is the authorized usher that takes your body to the place of destiny hmm. the father saw the possibility of the whole world coming back to him again and he sent his son it was a goal that was doable he saw the victory that he could give to the saints not only the victory that he had as God and so he came and finished that project in three years the ability to dream with God is a miracle the ability to conquer the limitations of culture the limitations of our sociological context it takes exposure and for many of us you see how you are exposed matters because you can be exposed in a way that destroys you there are many people their doom and their unbecoming be began at the instance of a supposed exposure exposed to vices exposed to ways there are many people who were obedient and loving and sincere except that they met a group of people who wrongly exposed them and they became harsh disrespectful dishonoring aggression is not exposure it's immaturity you see but exposure is powerful Moses until then had not met the God of the Bible he had been in Egypt he was being mentored to be the next Pharaoh but now he ran away and the Bible says while he was tending his father-in-law sheep Jethro suddenly God was ready to expose him to a new horizon he was about to meet the God of the Bible and he saw a bush that was burning and yet not consumed ah moses said i didn't see this in my lecture room with all of the wizardry in egypt i didn't see it in this fashion and a voice came out of it moses take off your shoes your experience your perspective your mindset take it off for where you stand is holy ground it was on the strength of that exposure moses returned back to Ramesses, his half brother and said brother good to see you this time around I didn't come I'm not coming as the weak one who ran away I've met someone there, 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 there's an exposure I've been exposed to his glory his power and his possibilities and that one who opened my eyes instructed me to you let my people go and Pharaoh said wow what an interesting lecture I see you've learned a lot Janus Jambers come and show this man that this is Egypt and they threw their rod and Moses threw his rod to cut the long story short a time came when the firstborns died and Pharaoh came to a point where he realized that there was more Nebuchadnezzar was one of such people he was not exposed to certain dimensions beyond his scope of reference he thought he was all and in all and God humbled him exposure is powerful exposed to the light of God exposed to the miracle working power did you know why many of the saints when you read several books like God's generals you know why it was easy for them to step into certain dimensions because they were in the atmospheres where they saw it happening 
why will you doubt the miracle working power of god when right in your presence you watch someone stand up in a wheelchair right in your presence you watch the dead rise so what satan does to erode spiritual possibilities in a territory is to use subtlety to begin to hide these exposures so that after a long time there are hardly people who have seen those dimensions in god exposure your level of exposure financially spiritually your level of exposure it matters you must contend for a healthy level of exposure listen to me nigeria listen to me africa we have called ourselves many things that god did not call us why because of color of skin because of our sociological limitations because of our history etc but the bible says he that cometh from above is above all you must subscribe to a superior orientation that begins to culture you to believe something you were not born with that's the reason why very few people rise to a global scale because we have been indoctrinated by culture subliminally indoctrinated by respectfully speaking mass media and all kinds of experiences we've been subjugated to believe that just because you are a Nigerian just because you are an African just because you are from one area of the nation or so on and so forth it means you are limited he that cometh from above is above all above all systems above all structures he that cometh from above is above all let me give you the last key how mindsets are formed is God blessing you tonight the fifth way mindsets are formed is association now this is a very serious one association the bible says god called abraham he didn't call lot very interesting scripture and lot went with him god did not call lot he called abraham but lot said i didn't hear god but at least i heard your obedience and i'm going to follow you and by reason of that association god began to multiply lot when lot forgot that it was because of association he detached from abraham the next time we hear about lot is in the middle of sodom and gomorrah about to die associations are powerful get my teaching blessed by association it's a very powerful teaching many people were visionary people on their way to do big things until they became part of groups associations clubs and all kinds of sects that derailed and faded their morals plunged them into mediocrity and laziness etc associations are powerful are we together now yes the bible says do not be deceived he said bad company can corrupt good morals it is often said that you are the average of your friends if there are six people in that group and there are five foolish people there's about to be a sixth one he that walks with the wise he doesn't have to be wise just walk with the wise the bible says he that walks with the wise shall also be wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed There are people who used to have and keep loving families except that they became part of friends and associations i said you mean you don't beat your wife this is africa let me tell you what i did to my wife last week i beat the living daylight out of her and there's there's thorough compliance in that family now and then the man returns back you see notice when God came to Adam in the cool of the day. The Bible says, and they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked. The next question, who told you? You have received an orientation that did not, came from, did not come from me. Who did you listen to? Adam now did not call her the wife. He said, the woman you gave me. And he now turned and said, woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent. Satan became the God of this world because he didn't blame anybody. Every time you transfer responsibility, you also transfer dominion. That's why when Jesus was becoming seen, he didn't speak. He was silent all through. 
are we blessed yes. association is powerful let me tell you this love is a command association is not you must be intentional about your friends there's no such thing as we grew up together edit your relationships with intention and sustain the courage and the boldness to preserve and only keep people in your life who are consistent with your spiritual values and where god is taking you to listen to what i'm telling you this is the plague of africa the the emotional blackmail of saying we were together we grew up together we are from the same village from the same this no if they do not sustain the values that make for kingdom come the values that make for an impactful life the values that make for intimacy with the holy spirit you don't have to hate them but off you go listen listen don't just clap don't just shout listen to what i'm saying was it not because a man entered other people's boats that they began to sink jonah knew what he had done he knew what he was carrying and he quietly entered into the boat of visionary businessmen who had gone they had labored they got their goods they got everything i'm sure their wives were happy waiting for them to come and then everything began to be boisterous and he kept quiet he was sleeping they threw their things out he watched them throw it look at the kind of retrogression his presence caused let me tell you this human beings have prophetic implications it's true jesus fasted and prayed all night to choose 12 disciples please help them jesus medical people tell us come doctor this is a doctor this is a medical doctor medical people tell us that there are certain diseases that are communicable this is medicine is that true i may not love him i may not believe in him but just, and it can come on you theater that a flu i breathe example jonah want to lose everything john the upon you courage to edit your association in the name of jesus christ please sit down there are people who love the house of god and love the things of god but many times you will find out that they become part of some sort of group maybe for from financial benefit political benefit etc and they come and lie to you that is a nuisance to love God. It's a nuisance to be passionate about the things of God. That's not how politicians rise, they say. That's not how business people rise, they say. If it's not in your presence if it's not by your hand if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything i need is in you association can affect your mindset when you are in the midst of people who pray i assure you it won't be long before you take god seriously in fact let me tell you this a community life is the key to sustaining kingdom values you will never be able to grow consistently in isolation you will need to connect to a body of believers of like-minded passion so when you are praying in the spirit someone does not look at you and laugh and make you feel stupid for praying in tongues then you quickly off your ringtone your ringtone is prophesying to you and you off it quickly because you are in an environment where there are unwritten rules that it is you are too civilized and too dignified
association. I learned this early in life. And for many of us, this may be a message already for you. There's such a psychological pressure to belong. Yes, I know that psychologically speaking, one of the needs of men is to be accepted and to be loved. This is why the Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. He is that friend that can stick closer than a brother. You must trust God for grace. Listen to me carefully. There are many of you, you would have been champions now by the standard of God. But you've surrounded yourself with all kinds of mediocres. Comparing themselves with themselves and not doing anything global. Small minds doing small things. Whereas your contemporaries are changing nations. We must trust God for grace. Edit your association. Edit your association. Hallelujah. I, will, I heard of a story of a man who was deaf. And it was not known that he was deaf. And so while he was trying to climb, I think he was climbing a very high altitude or a tree or something. While he was climbing, those under kept beckoning on him. Listen, please, please come down you will die and he thought they were cheering him and he was smiling at them and kept moving up and they were saying come down somewhere even crying because they didn't know he was deaf so he thought that they were cheering him and when he climbed and arrived there that was when they discovered that the man was deaf because he could not hear them he had to make do with his interpretation of what they were doing so he called what their, their mockery, he called it commendation and it sponsored him until he finished strong. The Lord is calling me to ministry. From where? Which village? Have you had, did you see what your father become? And you shrink back in mediocrity. Oh, from this little hamlet, the Lord will take you and the sounds of worship from you will get to the ends of the earth and here they come on accredited counselors they come with all kinds of counsels of Ahitophel you must trust God for grace to connect yourself with the right people it has to be intentional please listen to me some of you are in politics some of you are in government some of you are in business and I tell you this you are the average both in thoughts and in results of the people you surround yourself with. Are we blessed? Quickly, let me touch on the last area and then we pray. When the Lord showed me the work that he's now doing, when the Lord showed me the possibilities that would be working in as a ministry, it was it was something that was big based on my background that would take the truth of God's power and grace literally across the nations of the earth I studied my Bible and I looked through history and I saw great men and women and right from that small room I said Lord I believe you let's go now, let me tell you, it's, it's, it's not unusual for people to not believe you. So don't, don't think it's new. Of course they will not believe you until they see the workings of the grace of God on your life. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm saying this to someone. Right now, because you are still evolving, it does not yet appear. You told people that you're going to fund the gospel. You will fund the gospel like a government. But now people are laughing at you because you're in one room find courage history always repeats itself that god can lift you as a trophy mary said be it unto me according to your word be it unto me dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself 
share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.